If you ever feel lonesome And you're down in San Antonio Beg, steal, or borrow Two nickels or a dime Call me on the phone I will meet you at Alamo Mission Hi, I'm Peter Rowan and I'm going to teach you a little bit of what I know about bluegrass lead singing and rhythm guitar playing. And to start out, you need a good song to sing and a good song that has that bluegrass drive. And I can't think of a better number than Bill Monroe's Blue Moon of Kentucky. Blue Moon of Kentucky, keep on shining. Shine on the one that's gone and proved untrue Blue moon of Kentucky, keep on shining I like it in B-flat because um, a lot of the tunes in B-flat have a certain uh, mm, little uh, brightness to the sound and and the the guitar the guitar rings really well in in, in B flat uh, and it's a kind of a bluesy key but it, it is high in the range isn't it it is high yeah yes. so if somebody's starting out with this song and they're um, would they try to pick a key like B flat try to push it up to the top of the range or how would that well be? I think that uh, initially you'd want to put it right in the middle of your range where it's comfortable but if you're really going for a bluegrass sound you want to start to get a little higher edge to your voice so you need to find where you're most comfortable in your range and then uh, maybe just move it up a notch from there let's say if you were playing it in G it might be a little too comfortable uh -huh. you know put it up in A so again it would be Blue moon of Kentucky Keep on shining Shine on the one that's gone And proved untrue So when I sang Shine on the one that's proved untrue That's gone to prove untrue I sang that with one breath But because I had taken th Three full breaths before I got to that line, that line had as much power as the rest of them. But what you don't want to have happen is, is to run out of air on a line and then have to start, start with a full breath on the next line and then run out of air in the middle of it. So you need to find where it's comfortable for you to breathe and that will help you phrase the line and sing it with all, all the power. And when you stood next to the father of bluegrass music at sunrise, you could hear what he called the ancient tones, the mystical sounds of bluegrass music, the whispering in nature. And Bill walked over to me and he said, Pete Rones, he always called me plural, listen good to this and don't ever forget it. He sang this melody and I wrote some words to it. This is a song that we wrote together. This is the walls of time. The wind is blowing across the mountain And down o'er the valley way below It sweeps the grave of my darling When I die that's where I want to go The walls of time had a, a haunting melody that that could talk about you know life beyond death, so I started writing those words to go with it. Had had Bill been playing it as an instrumental before? No, um, he he came up to me literally outside the bus and he said, uh, "Listen to this and don't forget it." Right. And he sang, "The wind is blowing across the mountains and down o'er the valley way below," and then I added. It sweeps the grave of my darling. When I die, that's where I want to go. I don't know if that was the direction Bill wanted to go with the song, but he, you know, he, he, he became really open about it, and we worked on the song together and started playing it live. 
And I was very inspired by uh, having that song be in the repertoire right away. Bill Monroe, the father of bluegrass music, would always follow the walls of time with an old gospel sacred number called The Poor Wayfaring Stranger. Taking a song like Wayfaring Stranger and um, playing around with it vocally once, I guess first they'd have to learn the basics of the melody. You've got to learn the melody, absolutely. Sing the melody just as straight as you can. And then uh, again, following the techniques for finding the breaking point in your voice, you might try and sing just maybe one note higher, you know, just like in Blue Moon of Kentucky, you know. So it was on the moon that night, stars shining bright, whispered from on high. That one mm -hmm. note is, all, is the only improvisation in the song, aside from the phrasing. And the wayfaring stranger, you know, on the last chorus, I, I'm going home, I'm going home to see my Savior. Um, for a song with that much power, you really don't have to do much but sing the melody and sing it straight. When you played that song before, you um, played a little instrumental solo on the guitar. Uh, when I played the song with Bill Monroe, <clears throat> I would answer the lead instrument with guitar runs. The lead would go. Da, 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 